everybody. So this is going to be the second and final, most likely, Halloween haul for 2019, showing you some gorgeous goodies um, that I've got this year and why and where you can get them maybe and all that good stuff. So the first thing is that I have purchased four cushions. I'm going to show you one. <laughs> The reason being is that Daisy has basically took ownership of all the Halloween cushions and she keeps making a little sort of squish pile where she likes to curl up on them. So despite the fact that I got them a week ago, they are covered in floof and I keep like brushing them off and, and think that they're still covered in floof. She's a floof and uh, I don't really have the heart to move all of her cushions because she likes to jump on the bed and pat around and snuggle up and then pat off and walk past me and I don't really want to disturb her so I'm going to show you one um, and because this is the one I actually would have liked to oh talking of which hello you've jumped off uh, she's not going to show herself though because I said something <laughs> uh, she's going to look at me in a minute like that's my cushion too but this particular cushion was from Grind Store. Uh, a friend sent me some money and said go have some Halloween shopping or some late birthday shopping. Quite a lot of the things in you're going to see today are actually birthday presents as well. So I really did want to show you guys this one. Come back camera, thank you. There's no, there's no need for you to spasm out. Um, and it's very more organic. So it's a deep red cushion in a kind of heart shape with lots of uh, crows and I absolutely adore it. All the others were like black, this one with skulls and things and I will see if I ha if I took photos of some of them originally and maybe pop those on Instagram so maybe if you want to see the other cushions <laughs> I'll try and like angle it round flu for something um, but Grand Store is really great for Halloween cushions um, and that's very more organic so I'm, I'm on that. There she goes. <laughs> so the next thing was a birthday present. Uh, and the lady also got me a cauldron, which we've, we, meaning me, has dubbed Bert, as in Roberta, uh, the cauldron. <laughs> um, but she's big and heavy and, and not up here. So this is the other thing she got me, which is one of the things that I really wanted from TK Maxx this year. Um, it's got the death head skull, death head moth. Um, which looks like a skull in the center with like this I don't know if you call it a rose or perhaps a lotus motif it's obviously a candle holder and this was the one of the things that I really wanted from TK Maxx this year uh, not too expensive but super beautiful and is going to be on my altar I desperately went to try and find a second one um, to get one to send to Chris and could I find one anywhere no so uh, I kind of failed at that but also from TK Maxx are several other items um, these four at least there might be some more in as as we move through the piles <laughs> uh, but the first one was uh, this which is technically another candle holder so this is a three skull decoration with like a paint drip motif over it i really super dig it um i currently have it sat down at the base of the set of drawers behind me on top of which is the main morrigan altar and on the other side i have one of these other things and i really like that it gives it a kind of almost gateway feel even though it is a set of drawers um and most of the set of drawers has things in which are actually magical in nature um which is really cool um, so I re did really dig the three skull paint motif candle holder from TK Maxx. And then what's what on the other side is something that I have been after for at least five years. Um, and I gave up this year thinking I wasn't going to get one because I was late to the party with TK Maxx this year. I'd been away. I came back. I was late. You know, TK, TK Maxx is TJ Maxx in America. Why they're named differently, I don't know. They're the same company, I believe. And I had seen one of these five years ago, and it was on one of the more expensive Halloween sh shops in America. And I could not justify the price of it. I could not justify the price of it plus shipping. And 
so I gave up and was very disheartened for years and kept my eye out and kept my eye out and I knew taking a max had some this year but I thought I had missed the show until I went Halloween uh, I had a Halloween day out with a lovely lady who with whom I am friends with who has also bought me some birthday slash Halloweeny type presents which you're going to see in a minute uh, we'll call her Raven and Rosebuds uh, for her online uh, store name and not give her real name in case she doesn't want me to and I found one <laughs> I have been longing for one of these I can't even tell you um, one of the pumpkin bowls uh, with the little witch feet uh, it has glittery black spider webs on her shoes I have been after this for so long to the point where I'm not even sure what I'm gonna do with it as a decoration like the first two are candle holders. The next thing you see I has a point to. I'm not sure what I'm doing with this yet, but I've been after one for so long um, that I needed to have it. It was not too expensive either. It was around the £15 mark. Yep. And so I was like, I'm in. Sold. I'm going to sit it there for you to see in all its glory in the background right there. So this is from TK Maxx too. I didn't originally think I was going to get it but it was too happy and smiley not to this little witch pumpkin I adore its happy little face and I was like I can store things in here um it actually sits over there uh and so I'm going to be putting like things in there that to store basically it's it's all very boring what to store in it so we won't go into too much depth with that but I did like its happy little face again <laughs> happy little face happy little face so, okay, so I will hold this up so you can see. I actually got this really cool uh, trick-or-treat bag, this uh, reusable shopper uh, from the pound shop here in the UK, meaning it was, of course, a pound, and it's super useful for me because I can carry all my orders from the store down to the post office when I have to walk my ass down there. So there is that. And then it contains quite a few different bits and pieces uh, that I have purchased. So I'm going to actually just take the label off this because I want to stick it on my head and it will all will be revealed momentarily if I can sort things out. It's ASMR, honest. It's so not, but there you go. So I got this from Primark. Come over. Come over. And I am going to wear this like the bat queen I am. I look, it's the new sexy. I'm telling you. It's staying on my head. <laughs> so then this bag uh, came from, as seen on screen, I thought it was really cool and really different. Uh, I'm a big fan of getting, like, it's got things in it so you can tell, which we're also going to show you but it has like this neon effect with all the kind of halloween bits and pieces on i will use that all year as a shopper super handy super useful i like having shoppers on hand to like throw things in um, and carry things around it's very virgo of me right now ladies and gentlemen apparently virgos always tell you that they're virgos did you know this and they also also tell you that beyonce is a virgo so when i went shopping with my delightful friend uh we went into the goth shop as I am calling it um, and because A I can't remember what the actual name of the place is and B I don't need to tell anyone where I live exactly um, and they had a sale on and they had a sale on flat shoes and I was like at that point I had thought I wasn't going to spend any more money and I walked in there and I was like well now I'm going to have to two pairs of flat quite beautiful gothic shoes for 15 pounds two pairs 15 pounds my other flat shoes are wearing out downstairs i haven't bought a new pair of flat shoes in a while maybe nearly a year so i definitely needed a new pair um, and two for 15 is almost unheard of especially when they look like this so this is the first pair which are at their band um is the brand of, of shoes absolutely super cute and this was the second pair and it was two for 15 so I was absolutely like overjoyed beside myself like girl you're gonna have to spend 15 pounds more than you thought you were gonna spend because that 
is like a bargain these days like 15 pounds for one pair of flats guys is is nearly impossible i don't know what the light is doing right it's nearly impossible so for two pairs for 15 pounds basically seven pound 50 each i was like for a pair of band flat shoes i'm in i'm all in i'm all over it so the next few things are also tk max uh <laughs> this i unashamedly bought for the baggie look at the tiny little ghosties they're super cute there are marshmallows in here that i have not eaten um i quite like marshmallows i'm not the massive marshmallow fan i might like melt some on some hot chocolate for actually halloween day that might be fun um but I'm not a massive fan. I, I wanted the bag. I'll be real. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do or keep in it yet. But I will find something. So the next thing is actually super cute. But also super useful around the home. Floof. Um, which is one of the soap dispensers. Which is one of the brand new things that TK Maxx had this year. That people were making a fuss over. I wanted the haunted house. I couldn't get the haunted house. But I could get the iridis iridescently shimmy not showing up on camera of oh, kind of ghosties uh dispenser for soap hand soap oh no now it's like the the benno virgo thing now i'm a stereotype oh. never mind so there's a few bits and pieces in here that were actually from primark so let's do all the primark -y bits Although I did also purchase one more thing from As Seen On Screen, um, which was the Trick or Treat hair clips. Uh, I also got the Trick or Treat hair clips from Primark. They're actually going to be um, in the giveaway at the end. And then the ones Boo and Spooky offer me. And now girls got to put some in. So the, the ones from uh, As Seen On Screen are unfortunately plastically tied together because i think right now like treat up there would be hilarious especially with this on um we could put boo on if i can get it off the primark thing oh god. oh gosh the cellar tape oh my goodness it's all kinds of things in the way of me just wanting to be spooky come on there we go right so that's gonna go that way if i can do this while staring kind of there we go oh kind of boo because i am a norwegian's boo <laughs> so the right yes we're almost approaching the end apart from the presents that my dear friend bought me so i got the villains palette from primark because honestly i was pleasantly surprised um and look look how this opens right hello ursula boom hello evil queen boom and then maleficent my favorite boom and then cruella boom now i will say primark what are you doing with the colors for maleficent like oh right look at this why is maleficent orange there is no orange in her at all you could have gone greens you should have gone greens and you you bottled but uh yeah I don't know what the quality is like yet um i could maybe i can maybe gosh the plastic wrap is real guys um but i did really i did really like it although that's a good thing that the plastic wrap is real really it means people can't get their fingers in and you know in places all places like that people shove their fingers in stuff it's terrible um but yeah Okay, one more thing from TK Maxx that I missed was this cute little mug. Again, I feel super earth sign. Useful. I love mugs. Who doesn't love a good mug? Who isn't in love with a good mug? Oh, I also got these um, from an Etsy store called Always Alternative. It came with a cute little uh, moon sticker. I was looking to support local businesses uh, I thought these were interesting and unusual which were two Halloween snails and they and they glow in the dark which is really cute 
I really, I really adore them. I thought they were unusual and I, I thought they were fun and it was supporting a local business. So, oh, another birthday present in there and I haven't built these yet. I should have probably built these before um, showing them, but I got Jack and Sally action figures from Lego. Yeah, I should, I totally should have built them, but this is where my brain's been at so this this one was also a birthday present this came from my sister um they ordered them from the velvet moon moth on etsy they came with these daisies back on her cushions they came with these two gorgeous stickers and you know girls all about their moths and then she got me this really beautiful um necklace that i asked for for my birthday which is another moth of course Come on, zoom in for me. No, you were doing so well. It's got stars on and everything. There we go. So I can't wait to wear that. If you guys haven't seen, I've got my second moth tattoo there. Uh, I'm becoming a little bit of a tattoo bug. I've definitely got the the bug of wanting more. I have plans, plans for more. So that was it for that bag. And now I'm going to have to stretch over there. So the first thing she bought me was this and I'm super excited about this. I was I was trying to express how super excited I was and I don't know if I did it very well because I'm really, it's really difficult for me to be like excited in public and in front of people. It's like an introverted thing. Like I am, I, I adore it and I've wanted one for ages. Um, and it's one of the, crystal b water jars um and it has like sealed in crystals for all the elements and bringing joy into your life in the center and you put water in and infuse that into your water um which i thought was a really really cute idea i've wanted one for a really long time i kind of loved it and i was super stoked that she bought it me she also bought me some really cute box socks that i couldn't wait to wear so um they're not gonna be in this haul because they're in the wash so there you go but she did get me this super cute oh my god i love it look um apparently Aldi have got some really big big ones for like the witch and they've got ones even that clinton's don't um and i have no Aldi's near me so i'm super sad but she is gorgeous she's such a cute little thing i adore her and there's a lot of like things with little witch hats this year she also got me this and she was she was thinking it was funny but i think it's adorable is this little foxy wet wipe holder i think this is the most adorable little thing of like carrying like your little refreshing wet wipes in i thought that was adorable adorable it's, oh oh, oh oh there's tissue there's tissue everywhere guys oh yeah there are things in here that i purchased as well okay i forgot about that i can show you guys that too of course she got me a little uh ghosty in a kind of hoodie a ghosty hoodie he's like a modern ghost <laughs> he's so cute it's really funny as well because i bought her a stuffed toy and she bought me this one and that one and like we were opening up each of those presents at the same time it was really cute and funny so uh she got me the virgo card from killstar which i love i love the i love everything killstar i own so much killstar stuff it's not even funny um killstar got too much of my money i'm telling you guys she then got me this really cute celtic scarf which could double as an altar cloth depending on your feeling you could either scarf it up or you can alter cloth it up i'm not entirely sure which one i want to do yet because i'm kind of like i kind of want to do both and some candy corn uh and this absolutely gorgeous purse which is it's actually got one of my favorite fox women images on it's absolutely beautiful and then there were stickers what have i done with the stickers okay so i found this beautiful fox art uh cosmic fox watercolor by david art um and look at this 
Look at this, guys. It's got constellations in its tail. I was like, oh my goodness. Oh my god. And there were some stickers too. Are they in this one? One, one moment. One moment. Because I bought some underwear, but you know, you guys don't need to know about that. Like, at all. Oh yeah, the stickers are in amongst the underwear. That, that makes sense. <laughs> So along with that beautiful uh, card, I also got some stickers from the David Arts place. Um, yeah, David Arts stickers. So I got Cosmic Wolf. You, you, you did? Yeah. <laughs> the Canine Totem. The Panther. Pantheria totem is what they're calling it. Big cats. Beautiful. And then the grey wolf. I also got a water bottle with this one. Like one of the steel water bottles for reuse to stop using so much plastic. Um, and that's actually downstairs. So in use. So I won't show you guys that but you, I did get one of those. Come back to me camera. Come back to me. Come back to me. And that's your lot, everybody. Um, that is probably the last 2019 Halloween haul. I will show bits and pieces that I perhaps haven't shown here on Instagram. I do enjoy Instagram a lot more than most of the platforms right now. Daisy's staring at me, wondering what on earth I've got on my head. She has a look on her face that if I could turn the camera around without it disconnecting, I totally would. But we can't. She's just... <laughs> All right, I'll take it off. Is that better? <laughs> she's looking quite alarmed like human what is wrong with you <laughs> you're adorable Daisy so thank you guys for joining me thank you for watching this Halloween haul I hope if uh... I don't know what I was going to say then I hope you guys have a wonderful October I hope you have a very spooky Halloween uh, I'm sure there's going to be plenty more videos as we're going to carry on doing the advent right down until the last minute <laughs> Uh, for Halloween and there's going to be more videos here and there to come I'm going to try and keep on top of doing some new content I know you guys have been missing it I will say that unfortunately for some reason the videos seem to be uh, I, I don't know what YouTube have done to it they've done something to it again and people just aren't seeing things apparently it really helps if you click the bell and the subscribe and the likes and all that stuff and and all that sort of thing so and that really helps me out so thank you for supporting me thank you for bearing with me I know I've been a little bit absent of late there were deaths in the family which I may talk about going forward in one of the more serious videos but for now I kind of want to keep it light and fun because the last few months have been kind of difficult so although <laughs> although my boo has been helping <laughs> my darling her hubby to be is has been helping me as has people around me there's been some really wonderful people around me so thank you to all of those great souls who have been supporting me looking after me helping me through uh, it has been a tough time, so a little bit of Halloween shopping definitely perks up, as well as the beautiful birthday presents from people who sent me those, so thank you very much. And for people who sent me a little bit of, of money to buy my own birthday things, slash Halloween things, because I'd always rather have Halloween themed things. <laughs> so that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and the camera's going to choose now to fuzz. Come back, camera. Thank you. Many blessings, guys. Have a wonderful month. And until next time, many blessings.